Welcome back to Brisk Bites. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the AI quiz maker. We're actually going to break this one down into two videos because there's just so much good stuff in this tool. We're starting here on the main Brisk Tools page on the AI Quizmaker tile. This time, we're going to let Brisk's sample do a little bit of the work for us. So let's go ahead and hit try it. Brisk will launch a resource for us, and this is very similar to the way we used the AI Presentation Maker. We can start from scratch or use a resource. Here's a resource that Brisk has pulled up. It's a website on plate tectonics and volcanic activity. And since my Brisk extension was active, it's already gone ahead and opened that box where it knows I can put in all the good information about building a resource for me. So I have the option of putting in all sorts of information, standards, prompts, specific notes about what types of questions I would like, or it can be just as easy as saying, create a quiz about this web page. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trust that Brisk is going to create me a lovely quiz, and I'm just going to click next. But here's where things get a little bit different. Brisk has the ability to create two different types of quizzes for you. One is a Google Doc version. The other is a Forms version. And if you've ever used Google Forms quiz mode, this will look very familiar to you. Let's go ahead and say Brisk it. While Brisk works to build us a quiz, you're going to see all of the normal features that you're used to seeing in a Google Forms quiz. You'll have the option of going in and using the form description box to add directions for your students or links to anything else that might be important in the process. And as expected, Brisk has taken the information in that article to generate 10 multiple choice questions for us. The beauty of using the quiz mode versus the Google Docs mode is that I get all of the beautiful features of a Google quiz. I get the auto scoring for multiple choice questions and I get back that summary of analytics as a teacher so that I can see any potential holes in my students learning and where I might want to go back in and do a little bit of reteaching. You'll notice after I run the first pass, I also get some quick add-on opportunities back from Brisk. Do I want to add any short responses, long responses, or a few more multiple choice after I look at the quiz and determine how it's going? That's just one way that you can use the AI quiz maker in Brisk, using a resource from the internet and using the Google uh, quiz maker uh, in the form of a Google Form instead of a Google Doc. The next video, we'll dive into that Google Doc. We'll see you there.